our next finalist certainly has a way with words. 10-year-old spoken word artist Sophia Albert consistently thrilled the audience with her thought-provoking wordplay and riveting stage presence. She hopes winning the competition will elevate her talent to higher heights. I read like, almost every day. Anything she's doing, she's reading. If she's in the toilet, she will carry her books in there. If she's eating, she's reading. In fact, you will be fighting. She'll be rubbing cream and she's doing like this. I said, the book is not running away. Just leave it and take and do whatever you're doing. When you're done, you can continue with it. And it has been amazing. It has really, really been amazing. Sophie is a baby minister, as far as I'm concerned. That girl is just waiting to explode. I'm sure that by that time, by the time the girl is like 16, she'll probably be pastor of a baby church. You know, she'll be pastor of a teenager's church or something. She has so much spunk. She has so much um, life, you know, and she has the desire to want to share her, you know, knowledge, God-given knowledge with people. She's been quite special. There was this other one she did um, just for the National Assembly and the Vice President was there. She actually gave a very short um, speech. And when she was done, I mean, people were on their feet. And when I saw this, I was like, she could do it. I just see it as not being maybe that someone is actually maybe intelligent, no. That's actually beyond being intelligent. Yeah, we actually see it as, as something that God has given. Yeah, as a grace, yeah. Yeah, that she has. Then she was uh, about three years old. So I used to take them to school. And her elder sister in her class, then they were teaching them states and capital. So every morning, as I'm driving them to school, she'd be singing it for me, and then she'd be reciting it for me. That's Sophia's elder sister. Then one morning, as I was just driving them to school, you know, it's something I'm used to, like a routine. Somebody was reciting it, but I discovered that it's not the same voice. The voice was like, Younger, then, and now I'm torn. I looked through the. It was Sophia. She was the one reciting the states and capital at that age. And she was not in the class. It's just that the sister recited every morning as we're going to school. So she recited it. I was like, wow. That was when I discovered that <laughs> there's something she has, as in she can recite things and she can carry it. And then, so, so when we discovered that, we started grooming it. Sometimes I ask myself one salient question. A question that borders around purpose, motive and objective. For a popular adage says, when purpose is unknown, abuse is inevitable. Today, I attempt to answer that profound question. I feel very happy and grateful too. I thought it was a very nice idea, bringing out talent in, in people who God have, has given talent and also the people that I met were very nice. Children like that, God is usually always guiding their steps and using them because they're children of the next generation. They're children that are, so, that are supposed to carry God's word to the next generation. So those type of people, nine God say, touch my anointed and do my prophet no harm. So nothing will do that picking. I'm like, I'm just in awe of that girl. I'm like, she's 10, I don't understand. <laughs> How is this possible? How can you be 10 and doing this, you know? I, I really, like, with her, I really wish I just had a lot more time because she's, she's, she literally is like a genius kid, but they don't really know what to do with it quite yet. So there's a lot of, a little bit of refinement that needs to be done because she's so brilliant and so filled with so much stuff. I really wanted to get her to, to understand her own voice and not perform like she was watching somebody on telly or watching a pastor or, you know, and just get her on because she has so many beautiful things to say. Walt stands in awe of who I am. She's only 10, they say, yet talks like one in her prime. Who is she? Where is she from? How did she get here? Interesting questions you got there. Try as hard as you may in carnality. You can't fathom the reality of my personality. Mm -hmm. I'm a product of a grand plan. In case you're sitting there perplexed, permit me to educate you. Let me tell you a little about my origin. I was conceived at the nick of time, born into a new dawn. For long before I was formed in my mother's womb, Jesus knew me. He called me to go forth and declare his words beyond the written pages. My thoughts are that the finals are going to be more competitive than the semi-finals and I'm going to work harder to, like, to do something 
better than what I did in the semi final. I was really very much convinced that she could go in there and that she could participate and most probably win. Your children great talent.